This comes to us from Inside the Magic, and it says right over here, Senator tells Disney lawyers, uh, Disney to lawyer up after leaked exec videos claims company doesn't hire white men. And it's not a, uh, the thing is, that video is pretty damning. And that guy, uh, Michael uh, Giordano, has been working there for 11 years. So yeah. let's see what this uh, article has to say. This comes to us uh, earlier today, too. Let's see. Uh, there has been a widespread outrage and condemnation from every conservative media after 20th Century Television senior vice president Michael Giordano was caught on hidden can a hidden video saying that Disney explicitly does not hire, quote, white men for specific roles. Giordano was caught on a secret video explaining the hiring practices at the Walt Disney Company and openly admitted that as a white man, he did not believe the company would promote him because of his race. Now, the thing is, he is Italian, but he's not the dark Italian type where he's like a little darker skin. He's fair yeah. skinned. So um, right over here. So uh, I'm not sure. Let, let's see if we can actually play this video. Right Certainly, here. there have been times where, you know, there's, they, there's no way we're hungry. Oh, wait, no. It's just kind of loud. Yeah. unspoken. Uh, there are times when it's spoken. But How would they say it? No way we're hiring a white male, Mitchell. Yep. So basically, uh, the, the video is 20 minutes long. So uh, we're not going to do a whole reaction to it. It's because uh, it's going to it's gonna be a while. But in over, overall, he basically... Um, James O'Keefe, I don't know where he finds these girls. They must be smoking hot. Yeah, that's what I want to want to say. <laughs> she, she, I, if anyone knows, I want to see the picture or some videos of the girl. <laughs> if this to talk to spill the beans this hard, like it, yeah. it's insane. It's insane, man. It's like even it's like if you're going on and you're not gonna. Okay, we granted we don't know this is the how many date because like there are multiple clips from different timelines, right? So we. This is like the end time they were playing around with him. So, yeah, th this woman must be, you know, smoking hot model, IG, high, popular hot for him to be able to say all this shit without him even yeah. realizing that he was he was being led on. Because, like, if we see the entire thing, like, especially with her line of questioning, like, e like, not even the brightest person will be able to probably read that he's being led on to talk about a particular topic. But mm -hmm. anyway, he felt... This guy, Michael Giordano, fell for it. Yeah, and the thing is, he fell for it twice. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is that James O'Keefe and OMG, uh, uh, O'Keefe Media Group, they hired two undercover girls that are probably smoking hot, freaking big titties, big asses, and uh, basically went on this date. And the thing is that he, of course, maybe he has a type, right? He chose... He was, he was able to get on dates with both of these girls that both happened to work um, at, uh, what's it called again? Uh, work with James O'Keefe. The thing is, I wonder how many other dates he went on that he may have said something like that. But the thing is, of course, he got, these, these girls fished these questions out of him. You know, like fishy yeah. questions. Like, hey, you did this, you did this, right? Because he knew exactly what to ask. But I wonder, like, if he's so openly just saying these kind of things, like, I wonder how many other people who, who he's, like, said this to. But the thing yeah. is, um, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, I guarantee you, he's not going to be working there anymore. Let's see. Walt yeah. Disney is currently uh, being sued by Stephen Miller, a former advisor to President Donald Trump for discriminatory hiring practices. Miller's America First legal claims the Walt Disney Company violated Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This act bans employment discrimination by prohibiting companies from using race, color, religion, sex, or national origin merely as motivating factors for hiring and training or promotion. How, uh, however, Miller and American First Legal may have found a powerful ally in their fight against Disney. After news of the video broke, Senator Mike Lee of Utah released a statement on X saying that Disney lawyers are going to be busy and that Disney's hiring practices are against the law and have been for 60 years. Now, whenever we hear about lawyers, Disney has hundreds, potentially even thousands of like crazy yeah. lawyers in their pocket. This yeah. one is pretty damning, right? And the thing is, this isn't new though, right? Um, hiring, uh, America, uh, especially these woke companies and, and, and entertainment business has been doing this type of, um, this type of hiring uh, discriminations for a long time. And 
they, they, uh, you know, like uh, they've been doing this probably since the, you know, the early 2000s, probably. And like I mentioned yesterday when I was live, um, I have a friend who who was an actor on VR Troopers. He was an actor. And uh, his name is Michael. And the thing is, um, I was talking to him. I work with him. And I asked him, um, you know, other than VR Troopers, you know, what else did you do? And he's like, I was like, it's like you know, um, you know, did, you know, have you done more acting other than he said he's done some stunt work, but he says that he did it, he did get passed up for a role. And it was a role for a black person. And uh his uh his you know his agent told him that uh you were uh, they passed on you. And he's like, why? They told me that you weren't black enough. And the thing is that my friend Michael, he's like very if you look at him, he's not he doesn't have the I guess his skin is not black enough and he doesn't have the black features, you know, the big nose and the big lips or something like that. Right. So he felt like very like, it's like, what the fuck, man, this is awful. And this was back in like 2000. So the thing is this whole practice thing is happening throughout entertainment history. It's been happening in the animation in industry, the games industry, the, uh, the movie industry, whatever industry that you can think of it's hap it has been happening. The reason why this is huge is because this is actually a person that's in an executive uh, position that's caught on camera saying it. And this is sort of like, okay, now it's like solidified. This is a person that said, and he's like, I've been working there for 11 years. I, I have a lot of friends in HR. And they also do hiring practices as keywords, right? You know, tell me a little bit about yourself. And this person says that I grew up poor. Um, you know, I... You know, I, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I eat fried rice and my skin is yellow. It's like, oh, you know, you're, you're white adjacent. We're not going to hire you. They put in these keywords into job applications. They do it now to hire people based off of their ethnicity. It's, it's very under, uh, it's, it's, it's like, uh, they think they're trying yeah. to get like sneaky, sneaky, yeah, skirt, it, but... skirting the legal, the legal repercussions. Like he, he also brought it up, like saying, oh, we, uh, the term, in, the term we use, they used with me is like, Oh, we are part of the. We don't hire the usual suspects, so they use words that don't get them liable. Yeah, so, yeah, it, it is pretty damning. It is pretty damning. But probably, I imagine Disney's point of attack will this is really shoot down his credibility. Like, oh, yeah. this is just a disgruntled employee, and probably show logs about him being frustrated and stuff like that. that that's I imagine that's what Disney is gonna do, even though we all know it's real. Like, it's yeah, yeah. like it's gonna it's still gonna be a tough legal fight even though at the side of like O'Keefe because like yeah it's at the end of the day it's still the word of the employee because like so Disney's just gonna frame him in such a way that he's an angry frustrated employee and that, that's how they're gonna counter this yeah and and like I mentioned before and I, I think I think I might, I might have mentioned this here as well uh, um I have a friend and she was a line producer on uh I think she was either at Cartoon Network or Cartoon yeah, I think she was a Cartoon Network or Warner Brothers. And she posts, she didn't, she didn't post it anywhere, but she posted it on Facebook. You say, please reach out to me. Uh, we are looking for a background act, uh, a background painter, uh, BG artist on uh, this show. And uh, please reach out to me if you are BIPOC. And then I'm like, what? Really? So if you guys don't know what BIPOC means or what it stands for, it means Black Indigenous Person of Color. So in order for you to actually get that job, you need to be a BIPOC. So I reached out to her. I was like, hey, I have a friend who's extremely qualified. She's been in the industry for a long time. She's also worked at Disney before. Can you, you know, would she be able to apply? And she asked me, is she BIPOC? And I said, no. And she said, this is for BIPOCs only. And this person is Filipino that did this. So I'm just like, it's... It's, it doesn't matter if she's Filipino or not, of course. But the thing is, that it's it's crazy. And line, produce, line producers has a lot of say for hiring, all right? Like line producers are the one who actually makes the decision whether or not you get hired. So the fact that my friend was not BIPOC, she didn't get hired. But yeah, but let's continue with this. Let's see. Um... Let's see. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, let's see. In the video released, a conservative media on, on Thursday shows a 20th century senior uh, vice president, Michael Giordano, talking to an unknown person about the hiring practices at the Walt Disney Company. And he says, certainly there have been times where, you know, there's no way we're hiring a white man for this. There are times uh, there are times when it's spoken reporter. 
uh, would they say uh, would they say it? There's no way we're hiring a white man for the throne. They'd be very careful how they message that uh, to agents. Giordano says that Disney CEO Bob Iger 100% has a say in ensuring diversity in casting on Disney shows and movies. While it is not a directive from Bob Iger, he says that there should be a certain amount of diversity in each show. Like I said, there's actually a quota. There's a lot of quotas in these uh, companies. If you don't have enough, it's because they also, he also goes on and says, I'm not sure if this article says it, uh, hiring managers get a bonus if they hire, you know, diversity uh, within the company, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I identify as homo, queer, black, age, uh, Asian, it can read. <laughs> yeah, you're basically hired, man. It's, it, it, the thing is, that if you get, yeah. That, that's the reason why it, the, the, these companies are so shitty. And I'm glad like we're seeing like actual, actual like recorded video of someone saying it. Yeah. Great. How, how, how do you feel about this crazy thing, man? Yeah, it's pretty nutty that this was revealed. But yeah, I also feel bad for Michael. Like he was, the, he was literally the sacrificial lamb for this story to come to life. <laughs> like he, he yeah. didn't really, he didn't really do anything wrong per se but he was just led to do something wrong even uh, like mm -hmm. without him being without him doing it upper because i legit tried to look for him on linkedin because by the time i did it he's gone it's gone it's, it's deleted it's not there anymore i not actually there. did too. yeah i tried looking here, for it. it's gone yep so the thing is um if you guys don't know um i have a lot of friends who work in the entertainment industry and i do have a lot of friends who are actually in uh senior management in uh, at disney and they would have known michael giordano and you know in linkedin they have like first second third like as a mutual friends like like how close yeah. you are mm -hmm. so over here there's a photo that i posted uh right over here this is his actual linkedin it's gone it's not there anymore you cannot find it he knew no. he either nuked it or they fired him i yeah. would say both both yeah yeah, so uh, this guy's no longer there. Of course, he has a uh, uh, you know pronouns in his bios and stuff like that. But yeah, this guy's no longer there. Uh, I try. I actually legit try looking for. There is a Michael yeah. Giordano in New York, but that's not the same yeah. one. Yeah. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at eight p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.